So as you may know, uh, the GOA is currently being attacked by three different no compromise gun organizations. That would be the NRA, the Second Amendment Foundation, and Florida Carry. So why? why? Why is this going on? What is this all about? And that's what I'm hoping to at least like help you understand a little bit better. So, this all started back with... When it comes to the, the uh, background check bill, uh, some of you may not like what I'm going to say, but... Uh, I spent hours and hours in Senator, with Senator Manchin and Pat, Pat Toomey going over what the, what's in that bill. And I'm a little upset with one, and then this whole debate's gotten so polarized that it's really hard for anybody to be intellectually honest about what any of these bills say. Sort of when I went through, you know, uh, what has four legs and chases cats, things aren't the way they appear to be. I'll be candid, unfortunately, with, with, with the uh, background check, that's really what the case is right now. Universal background checks. The Second Amendment F Foundation was backing that, saying that, hey, if we back this, we could get some other pro-gun bill to go through. Well, the GOA was like, no, that's crap, do not back this, and they fought against it, and they wind up not getting uh, universal background checks through. And that's where it all starts from. And it's only dissolved from there. Well, recently, the dude at the GOA, he winded up calling out Rep Bird because he's killed five pro-gun bills. And he is in a House majority. They call it a super House majority. So they would go through. Like, they have the power. That would go through. And he's killed them anyway, you know, making up bullshit excuses like, oh, we don't have the votes, or it's a waste of time, or there's not a companion bill. All that's bullshit. So the GOA calls him out publicly. Well, then Florida Carey, the NRA, and the Second Amendment Foundation got pissed about that. Because Rep Bird is the shoe-in. He's the guy they put in there that's no compromise. This way, if a, a pro-gun bill or something comes up that they don't agree with, they can just have him kill it. And he's promised some cushy job should he, you know, get voted out of office or something like that. They'll have some sort of like, hey... You know, if you get voted out, we'll give you X amount of dollars or we'll put you in this position or your life will be taken care of. You are here to kill bills that we tell you to kill. So the GOA calls them out. Then gets attacked by those groups. And I understand why the GOA called them out. He has an A-plus rating with the NRA and yet he's killed five pro-gun bills in a position where seriously, like they have a super majority. If a pro-gun bill came up and he wasn't there to kill it, it would go through. So that's basically what's going on. And there's going back and forth. And uh, Florida Carey, I believe it was, wanted the GOA to apologize for making the public statement, talking bad about this congressman, for not being no compromise when he is actually no compromise. And it was just going back and forth. So... Why exactly are these three organizations attacking the GOA? Well, you got to understand, nobody wants a hard stance. Now, when I say nobody, I'm not talking about you or me or pretty much anybody watching this video because we do. I mean, shit, that's why you clicked on this video because you have a hard stance on no compromise. However, the general public, like a lot of the general public, they feel more like, they, they would support more of a whitewash person because they might be like, okay, yeah, I'm okay with an AR-15, but SBRs, you know, binary triggers, stuff like that, I'm really not okay with. I just don't think the average person should be able to own that or they'll be like, I'm okay with a lever action, but semi-automatic, you know, that, that that's just an unfair advantage to the police. That's dangerous, poor. It all comes down to they think rich people are more responsible than poor people. When you boil down all the bullshit, like seriously, like you boil it all away, it always comes down to somebody with money looking at somebody that doesn't have money and assuming because they don't have money, they don't have the mental capacity or the responsibility for the same things they do. That's what it always comes down to. It's never getting rid of SBRs or machine guns or anything like that. It's putting them financially out of the reach of poor people. Like that's the whole thing. It's an attack against poor people. It always has been. It always will be. Whether that poor person is black, Mexican, a girl, whatever. It doesn't really matter. The only, like, 
common de denominator is always that they are poor. And you can see that across YouTube as well. Anybody that takes a hard stance, like no compromise on Second Amendment, their channel never gets like millions and millions of subscribers. It just doesn't work that way. The closest thing you got is like <laughs> Mr. Guns and Gear or like the Military Arms channel, but they're tiny. Like tiny channels compared to the grand scheme of firearms channels on YouTube. As soon as you take a hard stance on anything, even that's the Second Amendment, even though it's a gun channel and you've taken a hard stance on the Second Amendment, you have a subscriber walk off. Because there are just some people that don't agree with that. So those three businesses, they are businesses, and they know that if they take a wishy-washy stance and no one calls them out on it, they will make more money, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's how the NRA got so incredibly big until YouTube became popular and everybody started calling them out and being like, hey, they're doing this and this and this and this and this and none of that shit has anything to do with the Second Amendment. How are you supporting them? And that's basically the beginning of the end of the NRA because people just didn't realize that they had their blinders on. They were like, I give my 20 bucks a month to this gun organization to save my gun rights. Or like the polar opposite is I give my 20 bucks a month to this gun organization that will selectively go through gun laws and help make sure I'm safe. So the... What was it? Second Amendment Foundation, I believe, fired back at the GOA using all the common arguments. I've gotten these myself. Anytime I've taken a hard stance, like if I put out like the coat hanger machine gun video or solvent trap videos, like showing the general public how they could be no compromise Second Amendment if they wanted to, or things they can do, like get your SOT or hell, even supporting auto key card. I got a lot of flack. And they always use the same arguments. He's doing it for clickbait, and he's doing it because he's an amateur, he's riding on the coattails of this or that, or he's doing it for the fame or for the buzz. Because I'll see sometimes things that I just disagree with right down to my soul. And I'll make a video explaining why I disagree with that, and because that's a hard stance on something, it doesn't even have to be the Second Amendment, just a hard stance on anything like, hey, this is bullshit. I'm going to call it for it's bullshit. Whether or not you disagree with me, that doesn't change the fact that this is bullshit. I'll get just a pile of dislikes. I'll have a huge subscriber walk off. Because nobody likes that. They don't like hard stances. They like wishy-washy. And the GOA, as of right now, I mean, who knows what will happen in the future, but as of right now, they're no compromise. So what their job is is to call out people that are compromised that are pretending to be no compromise and that's why they're being attacked. Now, it's your choice to decide what you want to do with that information. Do you want to support them? Do you want not want to support them? Do you agree with them? Do you disagree with them? That's a decision for you. See what I did there? I took my opinion out of the mix, and I made it a decision on you. This way, people will agree with the decision. Now, if I was like, that's bullshit, um, I support the GOA because they're attacking these places, I would get dislikes. I would have people that would disagree with me. I would lose views. But when you take a middle ground, you don't give any of your own opinion and you use words like that's your decision to make or something like that, it's easier for the general public to swallow that. And the GOA doesn't do that. They're like, this guy is not no compromise. This guy is not no compromise. This guy's pretty good. Uh, this company is actively undermining the Second Amendment. So they just don't get a lot of love. As you can see in those examples, three major gun organizations are attacking them for calling out someone for not being no compromise when they're pretending when their public persona is no compromise. Now, I kind of went on a rant there, but I just needed you to understand exactly why that's such a big deal. Because it really is. If those organizations didn't attack the GOA, for attacking this guy for being no compromise, they would lose funding. Because there are people like, hey, this company is attacking a Republican. I'm a Republican. So because he's a Republican, we think together. So go get rid of this organization, the GOA, that's attacking this Republican who has the same ideals as me when it's proven that he doesn't. And they're just trying to shut him up because of that. And if they lose their wingman or their shoe in or whatever you would like to call it that is there specifically to kill pro-gun bills that different organizations don't agree with 
they'd have to get a new one. And if they keep getting their wingman voted out and he's no longer winning, well, then what? That would just be a whole world of problems they don't want to face. So anyway, I, like he said, kind of went on a rant there. Just wanted to help you understand because it's a lot different on this side of the camera seeing how the public perceives what you say and that and like helping you understand why there's pro-gun groups attacking a no-compromised pro-gun group when that makes like no sense normally. But when you peel back all the onion layers and all the bullshit and then you see the core of the problem that the general person doesn't want hard stances on anything, then you understand why those organizations are attacking the GOA. But anyway, if you like to help support the channel, got my Patreon right there. I also have affiliate links in the description down below. Even if you don't buy what that particular link is for, just clicking on that, then doing the Amazon shopping you were already going to do anyway. And a little kickback for it because you came there off my channel. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.